You are watching Travel World Online. India gets elected to UNESCO World Heritage Committee for four-year term. UK bans flights from South Africa after detection of new COVID-19 variant. Boeing enhanced angle of attack system. Faulty data from AOA was the cause for Ethiopian Airlines accident. Turkey set to generate $22 billion from tourism in 2021. The ninth international tourism mart for the Northeast region kick-started in Nagaland. India has been elected to the World Heritage Committee of the UN's Cultural Organization for a four-year term, a week after the country was re-elected to the UNESCO Executive Board. Disclosing the development through a tweet, Minister of State for External Affairs Meenakshi Lekhi wrote, Happy to announce that India has won the seat on the World Heritage Committee from the Asia-Pacific region. I thank all our supporters for leading us to this historic win. The committee which is responsible for the implementation of the World Heritage Convention, defines the use of the World Heritage Fund and allocates financial assistance upon requests from states' parties. Britain has temporarily banned flights from South Africa, Botswana, Lesotho, Eswatini, Zimbabwe and Namibia from November 26 after detection of a new deadly variant of COVID-19 was announced. Scientists detected the new variant of coronavirus B1.1.529 in relatively small numbers in South Africa, Botswana and Hong Kong, but they are concerned by its high number of mutations which could help it evade the body's immune response and make it more transmissible. South Africa has requested an urgent sitting of a WHO working group on virus evolution T. Faulty angle of attack, AOA, data was the factor in two fatal 737-8 accidents that led to the grounding of the MAX aircrafts in March 2019. Boeing has completed the critical design review of an enhanced AOA system for the 737 MAX and will flight test the improvements on the stretched 737-10 variant in 2022. Travel World Online was the first to break this news, only after that Boeing accepted this fact. What was the reason that experts took that long to find out this fact while the two team could reach the fact in a couple of days? The aircraft was cleared to return to service in late 2020, pending design changes that included modifications to the existing AOA system and the longer-term development of further enhancements. Both accidents were linked to problems with the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, MCAS, software added to the 737 MAX. The MCAS, which automatically adjusts the horizontal stabilizer based on AOA data. Despite the negative impact of COVID-19 worldwide, Turkey has devised a plan to generate $22 billion from tourism in 2021. Turkey is expected to draw more than 28 million foreign tourists in 2021, according to Mehmet Nouri Essay, Turkish Culture and Tourism Minister. The country's promotional efforts have played a key role in this recovery. Speaking at a two-day economy summit in Bursa, the minister said the nation's tourism revenues reached $16.8 billion during the first nine months of 2021, while they stood at $12.1 billion in 2020. You are watching Travel World Online.